what's good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about Edison and the dope stuff you can do with it for sample chops okay so we have this sample right here just a dope ill mind sample we're gonna pull up Edison by clicking the little scissor icon right here and now we can just drag the sample right into Edison okay so some samples, you're going to know what BPM they are. Some samples, you're not. You're going to want to find the BPM because you can tempo sync it to the BPM of 130, which is what this sample is, or to whatever BPM you want. So say we want to bring this to 115 BPM, okay? So how we would do that is our master BPM right here, we're just going to drag this down to 115. And then we're going to click these this little icon that's right next to the save button called the format button. All right? You can mess with a few things here, but let's just go to edit properties. You can mess with the title, the comments, change the file name, mess with the sample rate, the format. We're actually going to do that right now. I'm going to bring it to 48K. Now I'm going to bring it to 32-bit float. Now here, the tempo is where you can change it up. So we know that it's in the tempo of 130. So that's what we put here. And now we're going to hit tempo sync. Okay? Because that's going to sync it to our master... BPM, which is 115 then when we hit accept it locks it to the grid there now you can go in and find dope chops really easily so there's a snap option right here you can do snap to grid snap to region snap to sample snap to zero crossing and snap to pitch period I would recommend doing zero crossing because if you're on the grid with the, trying to find sample chops and stuff like that sometimes it doesn't exactly loop what zero crossing does is if we zoom in here this these little circle points that are flat you can see the lines are flat those are zero crossing points okay so it's going to snap to those kind of points now if we hit the little loop button right if you make sure that's on you can just go ahead and randomly find samples by just highlighting stuff and just hitting play and you can hear it loop in real time if you zoom in and you see that it's moving along with the cursor you can change that by clicking this button right here down at the bottom this little arrow and it will remove that Now you can also establish markers where you would want certain chops so you can hit this plus button right here and it will add a marker at the start of your loop now you can click at the end of the loop and put another marker there as well so you know that the sample chop that you want is within these regions now say we drag this sample out It will still show you the markers of the sample chops that you found, even if you drag it to the playlist. So you don't have to do all the slicing in Edison. You can just put the markers on there, find good loop points, and then throw it into the playlist and chop it up and get some really sick sample chops. That's pretty much it, though. Make sure you check out the homie ISO. He was the one that showed me this in Edison. He's super dope with it. I'm going to link him down in the description. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.